Hello everyone, VJZ Crazy back again with another review. This is the Chameleons, which is the latest tech from Conte and Arts, designed by Asai Wind. Asai Wind, I don't know how you pronounce it exactly, I apologize. The front of the tuck says, and there's a red, a blue, and the ultra luxury green, as they call it. The, the front says Chameleons, and you see an AW, which is the for Asai Wind, or the logo, and it is reversible. And that's his point goes at the bottom. What you're seeing here is not a standard, typical foil. It is a uh, iridescent kind of a finish foil. Basically kind of a holographic foil. It's really cool. You can see it on the front of all of them. Uh, a nice looking tuck case. On the side it says Expert Signature Series Number One. This is the first in a series of decks that they are doing that where each deck, each one in the series will be produced by some magician. Hopefully it isn't going to be, or not necessarily going to be free decks every time because that's just ridiculous, in my opinion. On the other side, Expert Point Card Company. Top says Classic Finish. At AW again. Apparently, it's also a classic stock. Uh, the bottom, you get the expert point card company logo guy, whatever you want to call him. The AW, and it says chameleons are expertly made in Taiwan by the expert point card company. Artwork by Laura Alexander and Asai Wind. And in the back, you see the back design, which is very nice, simple, classic looking. It's got that AW mirror image in the center. There is some eyeballs, there is some chameleons in the corners, all sorts of stuff. No seal, by the way. And then there's the blue one. The green one is a little bit different. Like I said, it's the Ultra Luxury. Because, whoops, that's not going to happen. That's not going to work. <laughs> I'll fix that. I'll make it work. Because it's got a die cut window that actually lets you see. The cards on the green deck will have that iridescent finish within them. That foil within them. So that's pretty cool. Let's look at this red deck. There's no seal. There's nothing on the flaps. And I want to say something about the tuck case very quickly. This tuck case... Yeah, it's not going to rip. I only did that to show you because it's not going to rip. This is actually a synthetic plastic tuck case. Just like the classic black playing cards had. This, to me, I believe is the future of top cases and playing cards. And I think that it would be wise for companies like USPC and Legends and others to get behind this. However, at the same time, most people, is it, is it really going to help out a lot? Because eventually cards wear out and people throw them out. So do we really need tuck cases that are never going to be destroyed, kicking around? I don't know. It seems like it's a really good idea, especially for like collectors and or magicians, people who use the decks a lot or want to keep them, you know, safe and secure. But at the same time, there might be downsides to it. Anyways, let's get to it. The Jokers, you get a chameleon on them, on a branch. And there's a J in the corner. It says Expert Point Card Company on the bottom. They are both identical. The back design, like I said, really cool. The AW mirror is in the center. Chameleons in all four corners. There's some eyeballs, all sorts of interesting stuff. I like it. The Ace of Spades is also nice. It's got that AW in it. And Expert Point Card Company on the bottom. It's nice to see stuff that isn't completely standard almost every time you get decks from extra playing card company as the same old joker same old ace of spades thank you for doing something different for it seems the court cards they got a nice look to them similar to what they usually put out this one has a two of hearts reveal as you can see i do really like these court cards nice big images big pips colorful but yet fairly standard a little bit vintage type. And well, I might as well show you the rest at this point. There you go. 
And the number of cards is basically standard. So that is that. I that uh, cards a little bit of clumpiness I've been noticing well I apologize the mirror is a lighting not very good there you go I apologize for some reason the lighting was not very good anyways they handle pretty good a little bit of clumping blue deck as well and then the green one ultra luxury everything on the faces is the same it's the back so that's different it's got that iridescent foil in the center which is really cool and these ones actually they handle yeah not too bad overall as far as the art is concerned i do like the court cards i like the iridescent thing um <laughs> I like the back design, it's very nice. Uh, the jokers are alright. And the Ace of Spades is nice, classic looking. And I, I do like the court cards, I think. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. But at the same time, it's kind of standard. Um, it's a toughie. I'll say 3 and 3 quarters out of 5. I mean, I do like it. But at the same time, it's. Kind of same old, same old standard type thing. As far as the handling is concerned, it does have a classic stock and a classic finish. I will say this, compared to other decks I've gotten from Expo Point Cards, and I mentioned this with the Coven Point Cards, these ones handle nicely just like a bicycle deck, right out of the box. Many decks I've gotten in the past from Expo Point Card Company, they were a little bit stiff out of the box and need to be worked in. These ones, not the case, so I really like that. Maybe it's just that they had different stocks, some of them, but I like this one. And the finish is basically a, a linen type finish. But a little bit of clumpiness, so I will say three and three quarters out of five. Uh, usability. Of course, it's completely usable since it's basically standard, so I'll say four and a half out of five. Overall, I will give these decks a three and three quarters out of five. Very nice. Not too much customization, but some customization, and this is really cool. I don't know what I'm doing, but whatever. Uh, you can get these, like I said, at conjuntarts.com right now. Get all free in a pack. Um, don't forget to check out collectiblepointcodes.com and also the Kickstarter projects. And use the code VTOSA free to get 10% off your order on their website, not on the Kickstarter. And I will see you next time. Small, quick little thing I forgot to mention about these that I wanted to mention. And that is these decks, when you get them, pull them out of the box, they come in the new Monica stack. Uh, a lot of magicians like that, so that's uh, another plus for this deck. For me, I, I've never used it. I'm not really familiar with it. When I take it out of the box, it just seems like the cards are in a big random mess, uh, random order, and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> um, I prefer the size 7 stack. It's a lot easier to remember and a lot easier to use. <laughs> that's just me. But anyways, just wanted to mention that. I will see you next time.